Well, my name is Dominique Ospina. I'm the Community Advancement Officer at ISLA. My name is Cindy Salazar. I am the Manager of Education Programs at ISLA. ISLA started in 2012, and so our mission is to build community and leadership through educational Spanish language and cultural immersion programs. We were based on this vision to create equitable, uh, create an equitable society strengthened by the power of knowledge and values of Latin American languages and cultures. We initially started with about just maybe 10 students in kindergarten class, um, which now, after 10 years, has grown to, um, now we have kids in pre-K three years old, all the way up to high school, um, which is a total of about 200 students. I think one of the most important um, aspects about ISA is how we are always focusing on our values like collective power, respect, equity, and community cultural wealth. And one of my favorites is community cultural wealth, which I see every day in ISA, only because we continue to um, amplify and uplift the voices of our Latino community. Um, we also try to help them understand the skills, the values, and what they hold as a community, and also to just let them know that they have a rightful place in society. Being in Isla, I love it. It's just seeing, you know, the kids see their worth, seeing that they become, that they can become, you know, whoever they want to. Giving, you know, the parents the skills, the knowledge to learn how the education system works here in the United States, which is a lot different um, than in their countries. So just, it's a lot that our community goes through, and they're very resilient, and so. Just seeing, you know, how much they grow from the beginning to the end of, you know, once they graduate from the programs. Um, and even with our summer camp, seeing the, some of the kids who know no, no Spanish at all, and then by the end of the week, they're like saying hola or like adios and stuff like that. It's just very nice to see. I believe that we're going to probably start using that grant money and to help push more on like our programs in general, like Isla Los Sábados, um, which is for our, it's our heritage language program for children ages 3 to 18, um, and it aims to close the opportunity gap and open doors for them. Isla Padres program and helping sustain that program and help our parents to learn how to write more um, advocacy plans, how to communicate with people at um, schools and the education system. RTP is trying to make an impact yeah, within our community, the impact. Um, an economic impact, um, a professional impact in general, and I think that it goes a long way, so I'm, yeah. I'm really grateful for this partnership that you have to offer ISLA. I feel like we are representatives of the community that we have created at ISLA, um, and you know, we have to let people know what is going on, um, you know, the challenges, the obstacles that are um, present and then the successes, you know, also, you know, the, the good stories and, and, you know, how much of an impact we are making in the community. ISA will be able to continue growing and benefiting from this grant, but also RTP can benefit from us, from our own experiences, hear our voices, hear what we've gone through or what barriers we've, um, you know, what challenges we have faced and especially our community. We want for our community's voice to be 